new this morning. The CFO of an Orlando investment company says imposters use social media in an attempt to steal cash from his mother and her friends. New 6 investigator Mike Holfeld shows us in this week's schemes and ripoffs. That's when I realized I had been hacked. Kim Robinson Lynch is the victim of an elaborate Facebook messenger scheme, actually targeting nine close friends and her own son. Can I see some of a thousand dollars for your hand? That's when I found out. Because I called her, I'm like, what are, what are you talking about? Are you trying to ask for a thousand dollars? Like that's Chance Robinson, CFO of Orlando-based Strong Point Financial. Turns out someone posing as a friend of the family convinced his mom to send a code that locked her out of her own Facebook page. All my friends were saying, I want a puppy. I want one of the puppies. How much are you selling for? And I'm like, I'm not selling any puppies. What are you talking about? From puppies for sales, the imposter started asking Kim's Facebook friends for money. 2000 bucks. And they were like, I don't have that much money to loan you right now. When the money pitch failed, the thieves went on a spending spree using Apple and Cash Apps, all covered by Kim's personal bank accounts. In the end, she lost how much money? Uh, a little over 800 personally. The investment expert is always warning clients to call the person messaging you if it doesn't seem right. The biggest thing is to stay aware because it happens to everybody. According to the FTC, social media victims lost $1.2 billion in 2022. Mike Holfeld getting results, News 6.